Hello, hello, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel, Fiona here. So today it is a twist and talk. I've got so much to update you guys on. I've been so naughty on YouTube. I feel like I share everything on Instagram and on my blog, but YouTube has honestly kind of, yeah, been pushed to the side. But hopefully once I share the updates that I do, you'll understand why I've taken a little bit of a backseat with YouTube and now feel like I'm able to come back on here. First and foremost, today is a twist and talk video. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm using. I have got here the Pantene Buttercream Hydrating, Pantene Gold Series Hydrating Buttercream, which is essentially a moisturizer, and the Telia Wajid Tight Hold. Now, guys, I've never used these two products together, but I've run out of so many hair products and I'm about to do a huge, huge product haul on some favorites and some new products that are high highly highly rated in the kind of hair sphere so yeah i'm just hoping that this combination works out well if it doesn't i'm going to start disclaimed <laughs> so yeah i'm going to be using these two and i have got my hair's yes look, looking a bit raggedy it's looking a little bit raggedy i'm going to still blame it on postpartum shedding um because my hair took a hit but i'll update you guys on that later but yeah this is just a super old twist up that i need to redo so that i can look half half decent <laughs> half decent so where do i start guys before I start twisting, I want to share some exciting news with you. And like I said, I've shared so many of these on other platforms, but not on here. And that is, your girl is full-time self-employed. <laughs> Such an exciting thing for me, because if you follow me again on the other platforms that I've mentioned, I have shared this already, and the fact that I've tried to do this twice already, twice already and I'll share the story as to why the other two times didn't work and why it's worked out now but yes I am full-time self-employed and just walking in my purpose and being able to do something I honestly absolutely love which is being a full-time digital content creator or some people call it full-time influencer, full-time content creator, full-time blogger, full-time youtuber there are so many names for this thing but essentially I'm doing that and I've gotten to a stage where I've learned to monetize it so that it can fuel and fund the lifestyle that I have but on the flip side I'm also a social media consultant so I have clients, I have customers, I've worked for kind of huge big brands and I've also got you know a small portfolio of micro influencers that I advise, consult, coach, teach and what have you. So yeah, it's pretty much what I'm doing and I guess whilst, let me actually start twisting because I know that I will just talk and forget but I guess I will start off by sharing the journey with you guys because last week on Instagram I shared a story, I'm try and cut this bit short but I shared a story um, just to say that I had prepared something for those who are subscribed to my blog newsletter um, it's just a PDF showing every app and resource that I use to run my business and so many people asked me for this resource and it made me realize well damn loads of people are interested in being able to monetize their social media platforms in one way shape or form whether that's small businesses or whether that's people that are you know content creators themselves so or influencers themselves which is kind of pretty much everyone because you have the, the power and the potential to influence if you are on social media and creating content right so yeah so it made me realize so many people are interested in this spray bottle gonna moisten it up to begin with um and so i thought let me just share my journey on here this really helps to just soften and detangle my hair a little bit. And because I've got, I'd say, kind of low to medium density hair with postpartum shedding, I like for my hair to have more shrinkage so that it kind of has more volume or appears to have more volume. Anyway, let me share this story with you guys. Hmm. So I graduated and my first job was in finance. Amazing job with a sexy salary sexy salary but I've never taken time out to think about who I wanted to become or what I wanted to be career-wise and so you know I just thought let me just go into something that's reputable and I'll see if I enjoy it along the way at least I get to use some of my degree and parts of the things that I love such as speaking German which I do um, and hopefully I'll enjoy the role so I got into this role the money was sweet it was great experience and I really enjoyed it but as you know, with most things in life, if you are not feeling like you're work walking in your purpose or you don't get fulfillment from it, you'll start to kind of become unhappy. So I eventually 
quit my job after we got married and my husband was super super supportive and decided to go at this content creator gig full time because I'd been paid once or twice payment doesn't even compare to what people get paid these days and thought I had made it lo and behold I was wrong so I I was trying to kind of be a social media influencer but the big problem was I really didn't know what it takes I really had no idea what it takes I thought you know what I'll do a couple more videos than I've been currently doing and surely I'm going to make bank. Obviously you guys know and now I know that that was not going to happen. And so eventually my ass ran back to work. I ran back to work. Don't get me wrong, I was doing more than just trying to upload a couple of videos. I was doing what I thought at the time would make me money but I had no business savviness whatsoever. I had no concept of the business of social media. And so I won't say I failed at that, though I did use that term when I shared this story on my Instagram profile. But I mean, I just, you know, it was a learning experience, but I definitely didn't succeed at it in the way that I thought. So I went back to my job, which at the time was business development. And yeah, that pretty much was that. However, guys, this time when I went back to work, oh, <laughs> I was not here to play. I decided it was time to invest in my craft. I was researching. I was putting so much work into this content creator gig. I was going to events. I was reading up on SEO. You know, the boring things that so many people probably don't think of when they're considering kind of social media. I was doing all of that. I invested in courses. I wasn't here to play because I knew that I didn't love my job and I didn't want to have to be in the position I was in for much longer so it was early mornings late nights i mean i mean i remember my husband would just always make comments about me working at the weekend and how i was not having time for for the relationship and things like that but this is how passionate i was about this right so it was at this time that i actually started to see the fruits of my labor brands were reaching out to me so much more my content was getting more engagement more views and i started to realize wow this is, this is, you know, really paying off now. I'm starting to see that I can actually do this. And so after a year at the company that I was working for, I quit again. And this time it was a different experience. Give me one second, let's spray this section because we need to spray it, you know. And guys, it was during this, this second um, attempt at self-employment that things were going so well that can you believe, I think at the time on YouTube, I had around about 40 or 40 to 45K um, followers, subscribers on YouTube, and you know, less followers on the likes of Instagram. And I got paid my first five figure check. It wasn't just, I just hit five figures. Oh no, 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 no. I was enjoying a nice five figures. And guys, guess what? I had to just produce one YouTube video and a couple of other social media deliverables. So social, I think there was a social media video on Instagram, some stories and maybe a couple of photo posts. Little me. And that's when I was just like, yo, I'm onto something. So again, I was researching and just spending so much time to develop my craft because I didn't want to just experience that check once. I wanted to have more opportunities like this. And so I really felt like I learned how to monetize. Fortunately as well, and this, this is the importance guys, of even if you're doing a job that you don't love, why it's important to bloom where you are planted regardless, because I truly believe that God values that. And you know, life just has a way, it's law of attraction, right? I just feel like life has a way of helping you attract good things if you if you bloom where you are planted and so one of my clients at the company that I previously left reached out to me this is a multi-billion dollar home appliances company and basically said you know we really loved working with you we're about to start a, we're about to have a spin-off company and we want you to head the social media efforts I was just like sorry what <laughs> what you'll say what and I actually declined I declined the offer on numerous occasions because I just felt like I wasn't worthy. I didn't have the experience and I kept telling them I've never done this before. I'm just a social media YouTuber. I need to trim my hair guys. So yeah, and I'm just a, you know, social media YouTuber, but they insisted. And so I, I asked them to kind of tweak the contract and I pretty much 
offer to deliver the bare minimum so that if I didn't do well in the role, they couldn't come for me, you know. Um, but I actually excelled in this role and this spin-off is successful and it's just amazing to have been part of that. Like, I'm a part of their story, you know. It's super exciting. So that was pretty much my... That's pretty much been my second attempt at going into this full time. Now, the, the reason why this is the third attempt and I call it the third attempt is because it's not that anything went wrong the second time around, but I got pregnant. So for those who are new to the channel, I have a nine month old. How did that happen? When did that happen? I, I need someone to tell me because it's crazy to me. But I was pregnant and we also were in the process of wanting to buy a home. And in the UK, you need around about two years worth of history at best, of tax history at best, to be taken seriously in the house buying process, which I didn't have. I didn't have that. And so just to make life easy and not have to go down a more complicated and more expensive route, we decided it was best for me to go back to work, which is what we did. However, this was almost a, a more of a blessing than anything else because I... If you've followed my pregnancy journey, you will know that I don't really have the best of pregnancies. I felt sick pretty much for the most part of my pregnancy. Mm -hmm. I didn't have morning sickness. I had all day nausea and it was horrific. And so I didn't want to be the face of something. I didn't want to record videos when I felt like crap. I didn't want to take photos when I felt like crap. And so um, rather than quit the job, no, actually, well, I did quit, but they asked me to stay on rather than go through on leaving the job when we had agreed that I would, which is when the house had come through and I no longer needed any more pay slips to provide to our, um, our mortgage provider. I decided to take on the company's offer and stay on, on my terms, which was that they would let me work from home and also work part time because it was the easier thing to do. It was the easier thing to do, bearing in mind, I just couldn't fulfill most of the the requirements that my business had of me as a social media influencer and so yeah so essentially that is my that's my story and I'm just just really excited about this chapter of my life and I get so much fulfillment from helping others and so if I'm not for any reason on social media which I I'm, I am now because I put processes in place that have allowed me to you know batch create and be more active and consistent I'm most likely servicing clients and just helping others to walk in their purpose and to use social media to to um, achieve the things that they want to do as a business so yeah that's pretty much it guys and I would highly you know highly highly recommend following me on the likes of Instagram and on my blog and even join in my newsletter because I'd like to believe that those who do follow me know that I do drop gems and I do share my truths and my business truths. I do also share a kind of biz tip Tuesdays that might be on my, my feed or on my Instagram stories where I just share the behind the scenes really or things that have helped me along the way. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much that on the topic of self-employment. The other thing I thought you guys might be interested in knowing about is how have I found motherhood? I, I've lost count of the amount of times people have asked me how motherhood has been and I'm going to keep it real with y'all. It's been the toughest thing I've ever done. I've experienced more dark times during motherhood than I have in my entire life. I mean, for those who know me on social media, you'll know I've shared that my mum passed away in 2008 and that was obviously a very dark time for myself and my family but motherhood's been darker. I absolutely love it. You know, as the cliche goes, you guys probably hear this all the time, it's the hardest but the most rewarding thing I've ever done. So cliche, but so true. I mean, I love this little girl, this sassy little firecracker. I love her just beyond, beyond words. But yeah, it's been, it's been really tough, especially when you are breastfeeding exclusively and you are also trying to run a business. Oh! Oh my gosh. Motherhood also snatched the edges that I had. It just took them away. Postpartum shedding is real. And whilst I've done my best to try and reduce the um, extent of it, it still came for me. I don't know if you guys can see. My edges used to be the same length as, you know, the longer parts of my hair. But they're very short now. And yeah, I'm just using a homemade really really strong kind of growth stimulating oil to get them or nurse them back to health so yeah that's working so far but it's a slow process 
So yeah, that, that's pretty much been motherhood, but I absolutely love it. And she's she's going to be one in January, which is super, super duper exciting. But before then, another update. I am off to Jamaica for my birthday. Your girl is going to be 30 this year. I'm so excited about it. I'm not feeling nervous about the fact that I'm getting on. I'm getting older, but I'm going to, we're going to Montego Bay. So guys, please, if you have been, please hook your girl up with recommendations. I've asked for recommendations on Instagram and you guys have been amazing. Um, but if you have any recommendations of places that we have to go that are baby friendly because Moriah is coming with us, then please, I'd be so grateful to have those recommendations. On the topic of turning 30, though, do you know what? The theme that has been the most prevalent in my life of late has been anti-aging. It's either motherhood or the fact that I'm getting older or just both of those coupled together that has had me feeling like my wrinkles and my, yeah, just fine lines are surfacing more than ever. So if you follow me on Instagram, a couple of weeks back, was it weeks or maybe a month ago, I shared a trip to Selfridges. I went to Selfridges to get myself a whole bunch of samples because guess what? I'm a samples girl. And I've realized so many of you guys are the rich friends that I need in my life, right? Because I asked on Instagram if you guys, before buying a product, kind of like a premium skincare product or any product, would either ask for samples first and see how the product, how you get on with the product, or if you would just buy based on research and reviews. And y'all were like, no, most of you guys said you just go out and buy the products. And I said, wow, can we just make friends, please? So I went to Selfridges, picked up a whole bunch of products and I've been using them because I really realized that I need to start taking care of my skin. And whilst I'm a huge advocate, you know, for kind of looking after yourself from within, guys, these skin products make the world of a difference and I am seeing how amazing you know, these products can be if you are consistent with them. I also showed, shared an update of my skin after using some of these samples and my skin been looking so much better after just a couple of uses, consistent uses of the products that I've been using. So yeah, that's been the topic of my life. Oh my goodness. Can I just share the best facial moisturizer I have ever used in my life? And that is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. What? What, what, what? Now, bear in mind, guys, I've told you I'm a samples girl. Samples first and then purchase because I'm a jebel and I don't play with my money, right? <laughs> um, but for me to have bought this product, 48 pounds for 50 mil. No, is it even 50 mil? Something like that. I went to go and buy it and that's pricey for me. I've never had a, a facial you know products that's cost that much but this product is called the magic cream and let me tell you it is a magic cream because it transforms the look of your skin every single time every single time and so yeah that's one of the products that i've been using it was actually initially sent to me by the charlotte tilbury pr pr team and when I was pregnant, but then I stopped using it because summer hit and I didn't want a thick facial moisturizer. And so I revisited it when my skin was really dry and ashy after giving birth. And I thought to myself, wow, I can't believe that I, I have such an amazing product that I can use that makes me feel great at a time when my skin is trying to wreak havoc on me. And so, yeah, so I went to repurchase it after. In fact, one second, because my makeup kit is here and this is the first tub i think this is 78 pounds this is how many i don't even know i can't see it straight oh 50 mil sorry so 50 mils are 78 pounds <laughs> oh my gosh i finished this i finished this and now i went to go and repurchase this which is the 13 mils and this was 48 pounds. And it's also as SPF, I forgot to mention that, it's SPF 15 and I'm a fat to kind of 50 girl. But it's just nice to know that my daily moisturizer has some SPF in it. So yeah, guys, this, mm -mm 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 -mm, this is definitely supporting me in my anti-aging, um, combating anti-aging chronicles. It really, really is. Another product that I had as a sample that is really, really good and that I'm just about to order from Selfridges is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Serum. Guys, when I use this product, 
I wake up with plump skin. I don't use it just by itself. I do my whole FaceTime routine and then I use that. But my skin, yeah, my skin's like, oh, girl, in the morning. It looks really, really good. So, yeah, anti-aging has been on my mind like no man's business. And, yeah, I would love to know, again, just like with the hair care products, which, you know, products you guys are using that you feel are products that have just given you that sense of transformation that, you know, you just can't live without. I would absolutely, absolutely love to know. So that, that's pretty much that on that, that update. And last but not least, I will say, it's just to kind of give you guys a heads up. I'm not going to say that I'm going to be on YouTube, you know, X amount of times a week or a month. I've personally found as a business and, and, as, and as an individual that I'm able to serve platforms such as Instagram and my blog a bit better. My blog, because that's something that I own. I don't know if you guys have heard influencers talk about the importance of having a platform that you own. Um, God forbid, should YouTube or Instagram pack up, which they're not going to do anytime soon, let's be honest. But um, yeah, I also find that servicing my Instagram is just easier for me because there's a lot more that goes into creating YouTube videos. And whilst I could do all these chatty videos, that's not, it's not really me. I like to create content. I love to be creative. And that requires hours of editing, setup, filming itself, which um, I found is not something that I have as much time for now that I'm, I'm running various elements of this business. And yeah, Instagram just proves to be easier for me. So whilst I'm not saying I'm gonna be here a lot, I will be here so much more. And just for anyone that's not sure, you know, what exactly do I share? I have focused on a couple of categories and they are motherhood, entrepreneurship and natural hair. I want to kind of have a niche. I don't want to be a, you know, jack of all trades and a master at none. I think it's important to do and stick to the platforms that you can, you know, service to your best ability or the categories that you can service to your best ability. So those are the things I'm going to be sharing and I will bring you guys in on my journey that I share a lot more on Instagram on here as much as possible. If there's any content in particular though, especially on the hair care front or entrepreneur front, then please, please, please let me know because I would love to share them. But like I said, just make sure you're following me on my other platforms. So hair is twisted. I'm going to do my edges in the bathroom. I don't have my gel with me. And I will make sure I get a couple of shots of what the twist out looks like tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, really quick, I promised I would share my twist out results. This is what I'm working with. I hope you guys can see because it's super dark right now. But yeah, essentially this is what I got going on. And I'm just glad there was no flaking or anything like that. The products worked well together and yeah, decent enough twist out.